Hey everybody, Brian back with you at Strong Tower and in our Locomotion Month series, uh, today we're working on a dumbbell or a kettlebell skater movement. Um, these are fantastic for getting you out of moving in the sagittal plane or straight front to back and getting you more moving in the frontal plane, which can just do wonders as far as injury prevention, uh, creating stability in the joints in that side to side frontal plane. We have to have stability there in order to propel us forward and also to do it more safely and to increase kind of the longevity of those movement patterns. So without further ado, um, we're gonna pick up either a can of soup or a dumbbell and start with that. Um, by the way, I'm a functional aging specialist and a Z Health movement specialist. We are going to start by going side to side, passing the weight to the side that we're doing that kind of ice skater type movement towards. And you can see we can make this a small step or we can turn it into a bigger step, almost kind of a lateral hop. And so you choose the intensity. Uh, keys for this movement, we want a slight tuck in the chin, head back, a slight tuck in the pelvis. So we want to take that pelvis into a slight posterior tilt or tucking the tailbone slightly underneath just for stability in that pelvic low back area. So again, side to side, we're passing the weight to the leg that we're loading and going back and forth there. Awesome work. You could go for a certain number of reps. You could go for time. Um, in our Locomotion Month series, all that's gonna help you do is get more steps. Whether you're using an Apple Watch, a Fitbit, or another pedometer to track those steps, it's gonna help you accumulate steps. Uh, second option here, I have my handy kettlebell with me. And so this is another variation where we can also pass that weight across and to the front. We wanna make sure that the momentum is going slightly forward as we pass so that you're missing, of course, your legs, your knees. So pushing that weight forward and catching and pulling back outside, loading outside that leg that you're working off of your stance leg there. So side to side again, you can increase the size of the hop to make this more challenging and speed it up a little bit or you can slow it down, decrease the size of the hop or the step, whatever you're comfortable with as a starting point. So that is the dumbbell and the kettlebell skater movement and you can look for the next video coming up soon in our Locomotion Month series. Thanks.